the U.S. Geodetic Survey was anchored a few hundred yards out at sea. On the shore, watching, was a girl whom I was to know later as Kay Dalton. Beneath the surface, a group of skin divers under the supervision of my friend Jerry Kearns was busy at work. Using new methods made possible by lightweight diving apparatus, they were engaged in charting rocks and reefs and in photographing rock formations. The diver's work involved setting up some rather complex equipment. It also covered a good deal of territory in the ocean floor off the coastline. How much of this the girl on the beach realized it would be hard to say, but there's no question that what she saw seemed to fill her with anxiety. And had I known what was going through her pretty head, the chances are that I'd have been filled with anxiety too. I just completed a research assignment for Marine Land and decided to take it easy for the day when a doorbell interrupted my plan. Mr. Nelson? Yeah? I'd like to take some lessons in deep sea diving. Sure, huh? Well, uh, won't you come in? What are you planning to do? Uh, go uh, hunt for a buried treasure or something? Do I look like I'm out of my mind? Oh, as a matter of fact, you look kind of nice. Won't you sit down? Nice enough to teach? Well, I don't ordinarily give lessons. Well, I'm not the ordinary pupil. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, care for a cigarette? Thanks. Listen, uh, why don't you go to one of these schools around here? You get off a lot cheaper. I tried one of them. It wasn't any good. It wasn't, huh? Uh, why not? I need private instruction. Look, have you got anything better to do for the next few days? Better? No. More important, yeah. Is this important? You'll get more when I can dive to 150 feet. Well, uh, why so deep? Just a goal I set for myself. How'd you happen to pick me up? They say you're the best. I like to do things right. What's your name? Kay Dalton. Well, uh, diving is no cinch, Kay. You gotta be a good swimmer to start with, are you? Yes, I am. All right. Meet me at uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning at the pier, huh? Thanks. Make it eight. Let's not waste good sunshine. The next morning, Kay's lessons began on schedule. I realized right off the bat that she was anything but the strong swimmer she claimed to be. But she had plenty of determination. What's first? All right. The snorkel. Now put it in your mouth now, the way I showed you. Inside there. All the way in. Now. now you just duck your face and get used to breathing through it, huh? And while you're on it, take a look at that beautiful scenery down there. Come on. And out. To most novices, that first look into the garden beneath the waves is a big thrill, and I picked a spot where the underwater landscape was sensational. But the beauty of the kelp bed and the colorful fish life didn't excite her. When I accidentally touched her, I felt her body tremble. She was afraid of the sea. She told me she was a strong swimmer. She wasn't. And what was her game? I didn't know. Whatever it was, I didn't want any part of it. So at the end of the day, it was time for some frank talk. You're wasting your money, Kay. You'll never be a diver. Be patient with me, Oliver. I don't see how. 
you can't swim well enough to start with, and you get you get all frozen up down there. You get scared. You're scared of the water. It's only my first day. I'm trying to be honest. You just haven't got what it takes for diving, that is. Hi, Mike. Hi, Jerry. What do you say? How's it going? Great. I'll be at Vestry Point in a month. How about taking me out with you one of these days, huh? Sure. You name it. Say, who's your beautiful friend? Kay Dalton. Uh, meet uh, Dr. Jeremiah Kearns of the uh, Coast and Geodetic Survey. Howdy. Be with you in a minute, Jerry. Take your time, buddy. Don't rush it. Look, don't feel badly, huh, Kay? Here. I'll give you your money back. No, I want to go on. I'll do better, I promise. But, Kay... Please, give me a chance. That's all I ask. All right. I'll meet you here the same time tomorrow, huh? Thanks, Mike. The lessons went on. Kay was still plenty scared, but something drove her on. With the determination of a polio victim learning to walk, she began to make progress. Learning how to equalize the pressure on her ears, mastering the principles of the diving lung, and making shallow dives with it. In a week, she was ready to start making deeper dives, working gradually down to her goal of 150 feet. Kay made a game attempt to face the facts of life under 60 feet of seawater. a giant manta ray made her forget every diving rule I had drummed into her head. Don't ever do that again. I'm sorry. Whenever you're breathing compressed air, never ascend faster than the bubbles you exhale. I know it, but when I saw that big... What's the matter? Now get aboard. Now take you to the decompression chamber. Wait. The pain is gone. Are you sure? Take a deep breath. I'm positive. Now you're plenty lucky. Diver can rupture his lungs if he doesn't exhale the compressed air on the way up. From 60 feet? From as little as 10 feet. Air gets into the bloodstream. Could have been curtains for you down there. You realize that? What was I supposed to do? Stand there and let that creature eat me alive? That creature was a man of ray, and I've told you about them. They never attack a human being unless they're molested. All right, let's get dressed, huh? You still feel okay? Now, don't you want to quit? No. I don't want to be responsible for you killing yourself. You won't be. Okay, why don't you level with me? Why is it so important for you to become a diver? Can you keep a secret? What do you think? Well, I'm an archaeologist. Oh, I know I don't look like it, but I am. Two weeks ago, I found this on one of the beaches up the coast. I'm convinced it was brought from Mongolia thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago? Yes. The early descendants of the Incas migrated from Asia about 5,000 B.C. They dropped this on the beach, huh? I believe one of their boats was wrecked off Estuary Point, trying to make a landing. If so, there'll be other relics down there. Perhaps even part of the boat itself. What do you propose to do about all this? Well, this is a big chance for me to make a name for myself. Now, wait a minute. You think that you can do this kind of diving all by yourself? 
Well, not now, but surely after more lessons. Uh, more lessons won't do you any good, Kay. You get panicky and you forget what you've been taught. You just don't have the right temperament for it. Do you mean you're quitting? Yeah, and you better quit, too, before it's too late. I think I know what you're up to. You want to help that geodetic survey man? Well, I've got to admit that that's more my line of work, but uh, that's not the main reason. Listen, I already told you why. You understand, don't you, really? Sure. I understand. I hoped she would listen. It's too bad I was wrong. The Kinder Sporting Goods Store specializes in equipment for expert divers. Kay wasn't an expert, nor a diver. <sighs> there we are. All checked and tested. Don't you have a single tank? Yes, I have one. Are you sure this is the best kind? Absolutely. It's the latest thing. You know how to use it, don't you? Yes, I've had lessons. From whom? Does it matter? It sure does. I don't want any accidents on my head. Well, you won't have to worry about me. My teacher is Mike Nelson. Mike? You're mighty lucky. He's the best there is around here. Say, maybe you'd like one of these new masks. Has the mouthpiece built right in. Mike was the one who tested them for the factory. All right, I'll take one. They'll be in next week. I'll put one aside for you. Oh, well, I can't wait. The mask you have here is good enough. Sure thing. That'll be $152.18. Mighty glad you decided to go with me this week, Mike. Well, I think it's only fair to tell you that I have an ulterior motive. I want to get a line on your new sounding technique. Who do you think you've been kidding? I knew it. Look. Now, tomorrow we'll anchor right here, see? And then we can work this reef over here. You know, I think there's a new uh, sandbar building up here between these reefs and that point. Mm -hmm. It's right about in there. Mr. Nelson? Yeah? I'm Pete Zwicky, International Marine Insurance. Okay, why don't you come in, Mr. Uh, Mr. Zwicky? This is Dr. Kearns of the uh, Coast and Geodetic Survey. How do you do? I'm checking up on a friend of yours, Joanna Mason. Joanna Mason? I don't remember anybody. You know her all right. She's been out on your boat every day this week. Oh, it's Kay Dalton. I mean, at least that's what she told me her name was. What's she up to? I mean, learning to dive. Well, uh, would you mind telling me why you're so interested? Oh, I don't mind telling you. Her boyfriend took my company for a quarter million dollars. Sam Lewis. Sam Lewis? Well, say, isn't he the diver that looted that sunken ship off Japan last year? Yeah. Yeah. Got away with a shipment of industrial diamonds. We intend to get them back. Well, don't look at me. I, I don't know where they are. No. Well, now, wait a minute. I don't understand. Didn't they put Sam Lewis in jail? But he still has the stolen property hidden somewhere. Well, as I recall, he claimed that he had legal salvage rights. Well, the court made it crystal clear he didn't. Well, what's that got to do with the girl? She starts taking diving lessons... Maybe the diamonds are hidden in the ocean. She plans to bring them back up. Hey. Maybe you got something there. Uh, either of you two know anything about uh, archaeology? Yeah, I know a little bit. What's this? That's an Inca god from Latin America. That's what I thought it was. She told me it came from the Ori. Boy, what a line she gave me. Did she say anything that might indicate where the diamonds are? No. Hello. Uh, Jeff Kinder calling, Mike. I wonder if you'd do me a favor. Tell that beautiful pupil of yours that I got her a one-piece face mask and ask her if she still wants it. Beautiful pupil? When was this? Oh, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, tell her. Now listen to this. After I told her that she ought to give up trying to be a diver, she went over to that fella's place and bought a complete diving outfit. She's probably out there using it right now. Yeah, yeah, we gotta stop her somehow. Before she kills herself. We'll call her up. Well, I don't have her number. You got it? Yep. Yeah. Eight, two, three, four, six.
Close. Kay there? Who? I mean, uh, Joanna. Oh, no, she's not here. Well, uh, where is she? Do you know? No, I don't. Who's this? Uh, this is Mike Nelson. I've been giving her some instruction on skin diving. Uh, who's this, please? Well, this is her sister. I'm sorry, I don't know where she went. She was gone before I got up. It's her sister. Tell me, uh, do you know if she's been in contact with Sam Lewis? Well, that's her business, not mine. It's her business if she kills herself, too. But you wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Kills herself? Yeah. If she goes diving for those diamonds that Sam Lewis hit at the bottom of the ocean. But she told me not to worry that she knew how to... Believe me, she'll kill herself. She hasn't got the ability or the experience or the stamina. But I don't know where she is. She didn't tell me. Wait. Sam's letters. Maybe, maybe it says something in one of them. You know where she lives? Yeah. Start reading those letters. We'll be over right away. Let's go. Uh, I'm sorry, Jerry. See you later, huh? Yeah, so you won't be alone. Yes. Uh, this is Mr. Zwicky of the insurance company. How do you do? Listen, I've been going through all these letters, and I can't find a thing. Maybe Lewis is afraid of the prison censor. Except for this one. Now, maybe this is something. Dear Joanna, your news about Mom is very upsetting. Well, his mother's been dead for ten years. And here's something else. I wish you'd drop in on her and try to get her up out of the doldrums. And doldrums is hyphenated. Isn't that funny? Yeah, doll drum. And drum is underlined. Hey, what do you make of this? Will you take a picture of Mom for me? You can borrow the lights from Tom Carey and Bill Hickey. Arrange them according to the enclosed diagram. That's no way to set up lights. Who are these fellows, Tom Carey and Bill Hickey? I never heard of them. Carey, Carey. Admiral Carey Beacon Light. That's just up the coast a few miles from here. Of course. And Hickey Point Light. That's just this side of it. Yeah. Then what's Mom? A quarter of a million dollars worth of diamonds at the bottom of the ocean between those two beacon lights. Let's go. Thanks. Wait. Listen, Joanna's basically a decent kid. This is all Sam Lewis's fault. Please, give her a break. Let's just hope that we find her in time. obvious that she had tried the 150-foot dive. The rocks were rough and so was the ocean.
was looking for her bubbles. I couldn't see any. There was no percentage in hesitation. I started for the bottom and began to look for her, but the ocean is a pretty big place. When I noticed her, she was hanging onto the rope of the oil drum, forgetting everything I taught her about decompression. I had to stop her ascent to save her life. She gave me quite a struggle, but I held onto her firmly until she quieted down. for the ascent. I brought her up slowly, obeying the laws of decompression to avoid embolism or the bends. when we reached the surface. She gulped for air and fought to swim for shore. detective was checking the diamonds on the beach. Oh, leave me alone. If I'd have left you alone, you'd be dead. That oil drum would have taken you up to the top so fast that you'd have exploded your lungs. Uh. All right, sit down. Sit down. Take some deep breaths. Deep. And exhale fully. They're all here. I don't understand it. How a gal like you, with your intelligence and your looks, can get mixed up with a guy like Sam Lewis. What are you going to do with me? You think you've learned something from all this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sense into your head. Thanks, Mike. Hi, I'm Lloyd Bridges, inviting you to join us for another action packed story of underwater adventure one week from today.